Well, big news tonight in Boomtown. Delays to manufacturing investments made possible by the CHIPS Act are no longer an obstacle. Less than 24 hours ago, President Joe Biden signed into law the Building Chips in America Act. All new at 5, 10 TV's Angela Ann joins us in studio to explain what that means for Central Ohio. Angela? Well, Yolanda, it basically removes the red tape of government and gives the green light for the timeline so Intel can actually become operational without any more delays. Now, it's important to note that this is very different than the law Biden signed in 2022 when he came to Licking County to announce the CHIPS and Science Act. This new law allows a lot of that funding now to be funneled to Intel and also some of the direct supply chain manufacturing companies. It also streamlines some federal reviews and keeps environmental protections for clean air and water. Here's what the Ohio Chamber of Commerce told us tonight. We're already, we already have the seventh largest GDP in the country. Uh, so, you know, we're about to enter into a renaissance that's frankly the envy of not just uh, the rest of the states of the union, but also frankly, the free world. Um, all of this manufacturing that is coming here is uh, really going to change uh, the way that, that Ohio uh, operates and, 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 and its, its attractiveness. And tonight we're also hearing from Senator Sherrod Brown, who sponsored this bill. He had this to say tonight, quote, that the Building Chips in America Act will encourage future investments in American manufacturing and also ensure that we can outcompete China. Now, this new law is just another win for Intel in recent weeks. You might remember it struck that multi-billion dollar deal with Amazon for its custom AI semiconductor. And Intel also just landed a $3 billion grant to make chips for the U.S. military.